Hello, I'm Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Um, so, more fallout from the Trump banning Muslims that just happened this past weekend, <clears throat> Saturday, the 28th of January, is when it went all nuts. Um, so, and people protested, <clears throat> and the ACLU had it, a temporary stay. Um, Trump has also now fired somebody, the Attorney General. <laughs> It's getting nuts, but here's a, here's a, some good fallout. This article is from USA Today, uh, Monday, January 30th, from Aaliyah DeSteger. ACLU raises more cash in two days than all of 2016. <laughs> the American Civil Liberties Union shattered fundraising record this weekend after taking the White House to court. The ACLU said it has received roughly 290,000 online donations, totaling 19.4 million since Saturday morning. The non-for-profit organization that aims to protect individuals' rights and liberties guaranteed in the Constitution typically raises about $4 million a year in online donations. <laughs> ah. According to Executive Director Anthony Romero, uh, quote, it's really clear that this is a different type of a moment. Romero said. <laughs> yeah, you think so, Tony? You think it's a little different this year? <laughs> uh, people want to know what they can do. They want to be uh, deployed as protagonists in this fight. It's not a spectator sport. And that's the good thing that has happened as a result of Trump winning. Um, I'm sure myself, like many of you, might have gone like, oh my God, what do I do? The world is ending. But, you know, this, this is good. People are paying attention. Had Hillary won, would anyone be paying attention to the ACLU? She would be saying, you know, well, yay, gay marriage, and I'm the first woman, and all this other stuff. While behind the scenes, she'd be bombing whoever and getting money from Goldman Sachs and, you know, donating or whatever, buying uranium from the Russians, whatever, through her crooked foundation that her daughter makes, I don't know, $100 million a year. Yeah, you need that to run a foundation. It's a lot of, it's a hard work, especially when your husband is a hedge fund guy who runs a hedge fund because they, that's, hedge fund work is, uh, it's like minimum wage. I think it's about 11, 12 bucks an hour to run a hedge fund. Oh, Chelsea, tough life you've had. Um, the ACLU filed a lawsuit on behalf of two men from Iraq who were detained Friday at New York's JFK International Airport after Trump signed his executive order. In response to the suit, a federal judge in Brooklyn blocked part of Trump's controversial order late Saturday, barring officials from deporting those detained in the U.S. airports because of the ban. They, ACLU put that woman's face up as a, she's a hero. And I was on Twitter Saturday night, everyone was going nuts. Um, and it was kind of cool to see, this is the thing, well, again, Pay attention to what Trump tries to do with net, net neutrality, because if he can shut down the internet, he will, and only post photos of Obama's inauguration and say they were his. <laughs> just, I'm sure from the Super Bowl, he's just going to post photos of that Super Bowl and be like, see, I was the craziest game ever. I won. I'm the Super Bowl champ. Um, uh, so here's what happened with the ACLU now has a million members and its membership has doubled since the election. Nearly 140,000 people signed up for the ACLU's email list since Saturday. Lyft, the car sharing service, uh, pledged on Saturday to donate $1 million, while Uber is playing uh, a backpedaling <laughs> game because what happened on Saturday too, maybe, maybe you know this, maybe you don't. So a bunch of New York cab drivers, many of whom are Muslim and probably from the countries that were on uh, Trump's ban, said we're not driving people to JFK. We're gonna just, we're gonna, in solidarity. And Uber, usually on Saturday nights, has surge pricing, especially in, in Manhattan and in New York City, said, hey, we're getting rid of surge pricing and everybody can go to JFK. It's like, oh, way to be opportunists. <laughs> Uber and a bunch of people um, deleted their Uber accounts online. And Lyft is giving money. Way to go, Lyft. Uh, singer Sia pledged to donate up to $100,000, so did Rosie O'Donnell. Well, that's fantastic. Um, and this is the upside to Trump, is everyone's paying more attention. I don't know that I'd be doing this channel if Trump hadn't won. I might have just been coasting along like a lot of liberals, you know, being like, oh, I'm not a huge fan of Hillary, but it's better than Trump. 
And that's the thing why everyone's got to pay attention to everything every day. Because the other question you got to ask, now, when Trump is doing this, these big legal fights that are getting everybody to come out, which is good that everyone's protesting and giving money to the ACLU, I wish we just had a team of people that just watched everything that was he was doing away from one of these big things. Like, is, is he, is this like a, um, a Trojan horse or like a, a, a decoy, you know, he starts these big fights over here and everyone gets online and gets involved, which is good. But then over here, he's like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm gutting everything or I'm giving wealthy people more power or something like that. So we all need to pay attention, you guys. And, uh, you know, as soon as I start getting some money, I'm going to donate to the ACLU. <laughs> so like and subscribe below me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Grant Elwood.